which organization has authority over interstate and international commerce in the communication fields? That is letter, letter C. Okay, the Federal Communication Commission or the FCC. Okay. Next number, 47. A modulating signal consists of a symmetrical triangular wave having zero DC component and peak-to-peak -peak voltage of 11 volts. It is used to amplitude modulate a carrier of peak voltage of 10 volts. Calculate the modulation index. Okay, paano ba ang pag-compute ng modulation index? Modulation index for AM, of course. This is uh, VM over VC. Tama? Ano daw yung VM natin? Ang VM natin is 11 volts over 2. Okay, divided by 10 volts. Bakit naging 11 volts divided by 2? Kasi sabi niya peak to peak voltage. E eh, yung VM natin, peak voltage lang yan. Ako ha? So, yung peak-to-peak, ahati -peak, natin sa dalawa, magiging 5.5 divided by the carrier, that will become letter, letter D, 0. 0.55 for number 47. Okay? Next number, 48. In FM, if the carrier is radiating 1,000 watts with no modulation, what is the modulated power at 100% modulation. Okay. Paano ba ang pag-compute ng, ng percent modulation sa FM? Percent modulation is the actual deviation over the maximum deviation. And pag sinabi natin deviation, this is change in frequency. At pag nagbabago ba ang frequency, nagbabago rin ba ang power? Of course not. So therefore, with modulation or no modulation, ang carrier power natin or ang modulated power natin will be equal to same. Kung 1,000 yan nung nauna, 1,000 pa rin yan kahit na 100% modulation because our percent modulation doesn't involve power. That will be, uh, in, uh, I mean, doesn't involve amplitude. It involves frequency. Okay, so the answer for question number 48, letter C. Next number, 49. In this cone antenna, the round flat metal disc is blank of the skirt length. Okay, tatandaan nyo na lang ito, no? Wala na masyadong explanation dito. Kasi yung, yung this cone is a disc and a cone. Yan. Kaya ang tawag sa kanya is this cone, UHF antenna yan. Pero ang tanong niya, the round flat metal disc is blank of the skirt length. Pakitandaan nyo na lang po ito ha. The answer for this question is 30% letter A. Pagka lumabas sa board exam yan, swerte natin. Okay? 50. For long-distance communication, we often make use of fiber optic cable. Which of the following statements is correct? And fibers made from optical polymer can be used over distances over several hundred kilometers. Yung A tsaka B, ang pinakaiba lang, ginamit dito is polymer. Dito naman ay glass. Okay, ang glass is not suitable for short range. So, hindi na ito tama. Okay, mali na yung letter C. Eh? Okay, fibers made from optical polymer can be used over short range distances. Not actually, medyo mahaba-haba pa rin ito. Okay, kaya hindi rin ito tama. Kasi ang fiber is really for long distance, not for short distances. Pero kung pagkukumparahin mo yung dalawa, alin yung mas ma... Mas ma Mas mahaba ang mararating. Mas malayo ang mararating. That will be letter letter B. The answer for number 50, letter B. Okay?